Guys, this is my new project. It's a robotic arm made with Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. And actually, I have never seen a, a robotic arm made with Raspberry Pi Pico. So if you guys have seen one, please share it in the comments below. Okay, just gonna press the book four here. I'm gonna press enter. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna press servo one for. Okay guys, so let's just put our robotic arm to the test by trying to pick up Superman uh, with our new robotic arm. And there we go, that was easy. So guys, right now I'm just making the making the body of the robot arm. So just gonna connect some servos here. Uh, this is actually the shoulder joint. Yep, there we go. And now, uh, it's uh, it's the shoulder, and this servo right here is gonna be the elbow joint. Yeah, and I'm just gonna attach uh, attach the other part, uh, another st popsicle stick to the elbow. And now uh, we're gonna need a, a popsicle stick shaped like this. Yeah, they don't come like this actually. Um, I had to bend it in that way and uh, this servo is going to be responsible for rotating the arm so yeah there we go and here comes the gripper yep so don't forget to screw the uh, the servo arms to the servos yep I learned it the hard way yeah and this is a piece, a uh, uh, piece of popsicle uh, which I, uh, which I have put a lot of glue gun stick on, so it can gra grab onto things. Yep, it's ready. Okay, so now the whole whole uh, robotic arm is gonna be balanced on a structure like this. Yeah. So the so the structure uh, uh, structure here uh, just wasn't holding the robot arm in place so I attached uh, them to some bigger pieces of wood okay guys uh, here's the wiring diagram of my robotic arm you can see all the all uh, all four servos here a power supply a push button a potentiometer a breadboard and finally the raspberry pi pico okay so uh, you can see here this orange wire orange wire which is actually the uh, the signal pin or a signal pin of st90 servos of, of, uh, of the servo is actually connected to gp0 s2 is connected to uh, to gp1 um, s s3 is connected to gp2 and s s4 is connected to gp3 okay so and all the power cables of these uh, servos are connected to uh, and you can see all the power cables of these servos are connected to these two rows uh, rows up here and here's the power supply connected here and this row down here is uh, it contains the, the negative charge as as the ground pin is connected to it and this row up here is connected to the VCC terminal of the power supply and yeah they they actually have a common ground ground pin of Raspberry Pi Pico is connected here and like to, uh, without it uh, the servo will not actually work properly okay so the uh, this th uh, this black wire here uh, which is connected to the potentiometer uh, is connected to the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is actually uh, pin 38. Yeah, it's pin 38. Okay, and this red wire is connected to pin 36, and uh, this yellow wire, which, which is gonna transmit the coordinates to the Raspberry Pi Pico, 
is connected to GP28. And guys, now you can see this uh, blue wire over here, which is connected to the you know, to GP14, and it is also connected to this push button over here, and this black wire, which is connected to ground pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico, and yeah, which is physical pin 23. Yep. Now we're just gonna head to the programming section. Just gonna plug the USB cable while pressing the boot cell button. And there we go. Now it's just gonna take me here, uh, which is the default page of the Raspberry Pi Pico. And yeah, I'm just gonna put this, go to this MicroPython folder and, and put this file into RPIRP2 folder. Which is, it's, it's actually a MicroPython file. Um, a MicroPython is basically a Python framework which lets you control microcontrollers like Raspberry Pi Pico, ESP, and Arduinos. And if you guys want to install MicroPython, I got a video on my channel. Uh, I'll, I'll just put that video in the end cards and you go watch that video after this one, okay? And now we are in Pony, uh, which, uh, in where I have coded this, coded the robot. Yep. So first guys, uh, here's all the code and yeah, so first we imported pin, pwm and adc function from the machine library, then we imported the uTime library and here's the potentiometer uh, which is an adc pin, adc pin 2 and uh, it's, uh, it's on gp28 and yeah, now here, here's the button. Um, this button is gonna break the loop in which, the, uh, which is gonna which gonna which is gonna read the potentiometer's value all the time, um, so the user can enter another servo and yeah you know. And here's the push button here, um, which is uh, which is hooked up to the to pin fourteen, and here's a function which defines that. Uh, defines pin dot in uh, that, that it's an input pin then here's another function that's gonna read the state of the button whether it's on or off so yeah okay so we got servo 1 servo 2 servo 3 servo 4 and they're all using PWM signals then so, uh, servo 1 is on GP, GP0 servo 2 is on GP1 and servo 3 is db2 servo 4 is db3 and here, here is where we define the frequency of the servos and here's all the all the information uh, information which is going to be given to the user okay so here's a function and here's a variable um uh, it says select servo uh, you can guess by the name um it's uh, it's gonna ask the user to enter a servo and yeah if this uh, if select servo equals uh, double equals to one then it's gonna enter this while loop um, and and this uh, and this uh, this uh, this value is a, is also a variable which is all, uh, which is gonna read the 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 value of of this potentiometer all the time and. And it's gonna give that value to to servo one, as uh, as as the user entered uh, entered servo one here, one here. Or, uh, so uh, so it's uh, it's for servo one. So it's gonna give that value to servo one. And then here's here's the push button here, um, uh, which is gonna break out of the uh, break out of the loop every time the button is pressed. So if button is pressed, then uh, then it's gonna uh, it's 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 gonna print a button pressed and yeah it's gonna break out of the loop, yep. And it's it's same for servo two, servo three, servo four, and yeah. Uh, so uh, so every time the user wants uh, wants to change the the servo, he's gonna pr uh, he's gonna press this button and yeah, which is gonna which is gonna break the loop and it's. And since uh, this function is being called in an infinite loop, it's again gonna ask the user to enter a servo again, uh, right here, and it's gonna do that forever until we press this red stop button here, and yeah, that's it.
Okay, just gonna press the book four here. I'm gonna press enter. Yep. And now I'm just gonna press circle one for So now guys I'm just gonna adjust the value of the potentiometer here so it doesn't and so the robot arm doesn't throw away this uh, tiny little object here. Yep, just like that and yep. There we go. Yep. Gonna press the button again. There we go. Just gonna drop it in my hand. Press the four. So what guys I can hear you ask what is even the purpose of this thing? Now I got a very good answer for you guys. It is a very kind robot. It helped it helped me this morning um with a battery charger I couldn't find. Yep. Don't judge me. Guys, this is my new project. Yeah. Um I I don't have two more of these batteries, so I'm just gonna connect this battery here. Oh no, oh no, oh, why isn't it working, oh, so I don't even have other batteries and, and like, uh, this is the only battery I have and it's, uh, it doesn't have enough power to, uh, to power this thing, how, and I don't even have a battery charger, how, how am I supposed to, to, to charge a battery without a battery charger, it's just hopeless. Oh, oh, is that a battery charger, thank you, Robot Arm. Thank you, uh, ki uh, kind Pybot, pi for helping me. You're a lifesaver. And that's Pyon, a product of TechMind's technology. Guys, thanks for watching, and if you like my content, please consider subscribing.